Wheeler Jeweler Wheeler. My, this is a good looking young man. 222 pounds from Lethbridge against the Viet Cong Express number one, 225 Ho Chi Minh City in North Vietnam. We did not show him on television, and I hope my voice lasts the whole telecast, but a young man named Ken Johnson. We saw for the first, uh, second time for me, first time for you, out of Medicine Hat in the opening bout. I'll tell you, these young men, Johnson and Wheeler, are great additions. Kenny Johnson, he lost to the Cuban assassin. He's a 220-pounder out of Medicine Hat, and he looked good in there. And if it weren't for some questionable tactics, as per usual by the Cuban, Johnson certainly would have come out the winner. Now look at the way young Wheeler got out of there. I don't have to tell you that the Viet Cong Express number one is outstanding. You saw him in some bouts with Owen Hart that remain still strong in our memories. Those were classics. Of course, he teams with the other member of the Viet Cong Express. And by the way, both those men are under International Wrestling Alliance orders to fight for the title against Owen Hart and Ben Bazarab in early January. I'm looking forward to that bout. They haven't defended in a long time, and of course now the IWA moves in. One other thing perhaps we should mention here, we had a pretty serious moment this week. Dynamite Kid, serious back injury. He was apparently kneed in the back and hit with a chair simultaneously out in Hamilton, rushed to hospital, flown here. He's currently in the Holy Cross Hospital in Calgary. They don't know whether he's gonna undergo surgery. He's partially paralyzed. We can only hope he'll be back. Well, I've known Dynamite from the days when he was a raw rookie. I have never respected anybody more in the ring, and I mean that, than the Dynamite Kid. So hang in there, kid. Love to get you back here. As Stu Hart says, Dynamite Kid probably, if not the best, definitely one of the best wrestlers in the world. We'll see his partner, by the way, in action next week, Davy Boy Smith. Look at that bridge. <laughs> Wayne Hart, the third man in the ring. This bout is a one-fall contest with a 20-minute time limit. And we should get plenty of action with these two very athletic wrestlers in the ring. Look at this move. Good move by Young Wheeler. Breaks the hold and has his opponent in the head scissors. Isn't he coming along? Boy, he's making great progress, this youngster. This really speaks well for the Stampede Wrestling Camp. You know, they've looked at the wrestling situation. It's become so popular throughout the world like never before, I would have to say. And as a result, there's a great demand for talent, and Stampede Wrestling is looking to create new talent. And if they can bring along a few more people of the caliber of Jeff Wheeler and Ken Johnson, Stampede Wrestling's really got things going. Yeah, they'll have a great future. Unfortunately, one of the other recent graduates of the training camp, Brian Pillman, has suffered, as we've told you in previous weeks, a serious shoulder injury, just about everything in there. Muscle, cartilage, ligaments, everything torn away from the bone. He'll be out of action for several months. But we're looking forward to seeing young Brian Pillman back in action as well. Right now, the Viet Cong in command gives the big karate chop across the throat. Lays the boots on young Jeff Wheeler. Fires him into the turnbuckle. Well, Jeff needs a little bit of a rally. One of the things he's going to find out as a rookie is that a lot of the opposition doesn't abide by the Marquis of Queensbury rules. He's got to be learning quickly to be a little tougher. 
Tougher in the sense of maybe bending the occasional rule. I know you can't be a nice guy in this game all the time. And as you say, Jeff Wheeler rapidly finding that out. But look at that. Ah, he caught him. Beautiful, beautiful. A lot of grip, neck breaker. Kid exploded, didn't he? And Wheeler giving tit for tat, coming back with those karate chops of his own. Oh, my. Wheeler with a big job here. Oh no. Oh no. He got bushwhacked coming in. Look at that karate kick. A master of the martial arts is this Viet Cong Express number one. Well, oh, look at that. He got him. He got him. Viet Cong Express showing the benefit of experience gets the win but don't downgrade jeff wheeler he did a good job he put on a great show and i'll tell you what he'll be feeling that on his neck for some time to come your winner Viet Cong express number one